Hello, good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening, Carlos and Jonathan. How's good evening, teacher. Good evening, Mister. Good evening. How's everything? How was your day? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo cómo están? ¿Cómo estuvo su día? Uh, ¿Ya van de camino a casa o ya están en casa? How's everything? Today is very very hot. Ah, yeah, man. It's like a hot day today, man. Especially here in Oriente, yeah, man. It's like extremely hot now. Mm. Even I'm like, from La Unión. Ah? I'm from La Unión. Really? You're in La Unión right now? Yeah, uh, in Frontera La Matillo. No, no, no. Este, yo, yo soy de allá. Este, pero estoy todo aquí en Salvador. Ah. Pero soy de la... Sí. Nah, man, especially in Santa Rosa de Lima, man. That's yeah. extremely, extremely hot. Bueno, voy a todo otro estado, vengo. <laughs> I can feel. Yeah, man, yeah. That's, that's, that's extremely, extremely hot. Yeah, man, I have been there. Uh, muchos dicen San Miguel es caliente, pero en realidad Santa Rosa de Lima es mucho más caliente que San Miguel. Sí, sí. ¿Cómo le dicen? Santa Rosa de Lima, la Perla Oriente o San Miguel. No, that's San Miguel. Ah, San Miguel es la Perla Oriente. Yeah. Hello, Zoila. Yeah, oh. I mean, that, that's to San Miguel. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a lot of things happen to here. <laughs> oh, my God. Ah, uh, okay, people. So, good evening, everybody. Uh, I hope you have had a good day, an excellent day. Espero que hayan tenido un excelente día. Uh, and uh, everything, like, you know, like, had gone good on you, que todo les haya salido bien, uh, like, for the rest of the day. Uh, and now we're going to start off with uh, the video conference number nine. Let's remember, by tomorrow, we're going to be finishing the second week from this, uh, from this module. So basically, tomorrow, we're going to be uh, at the middle of the, the course, you know like the second week. By tomorrow, you will have to do, like, you know, like the homeworks as you have been doing, but also, right, but also you will be doing uh, the exam, the midterm, if you remember, right, that we have pending on that. So today, uh, actually, I, uh, we are not gonna be changing from the topic. We're gonna continue with the same topic that we were practicing yesterday. So it's not going to be like a big difference, you know? But today we're gonna be, be like practicing more, right? Yesterday we were just uh, practicing positive statements, right? Common statements. But now we're gonna be practicing, right? Uh, statements, but also questions using the, the structures that we were studying yesterday. So that's gonna be like the whole topic about, right? So let's uh, start with the things that we're gonna have for tonight. So I am going to start with the attendance list and then we are going to move on with the rest of the topics that we're gonna have, right? So Carlos Mauricio. Present, present. Okay, perfect. Cindy Melanie. Okay, Cindy is not here. Okay. Elvi Quintanilla. Hi, present teacher. Excellent. Stephanie Michel. Present. Okay, nice. Gustavo Adolfo. Okay. Uh, Ivania Jamilet. Present. Okay, perfect. All right, just give me one second, people. Okay, cool. Just give me one second. I was answering to one of your classmates, Jorge Alberto. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Jose Antonio. Present. Okay, nice. Jose Edgar. Present. Okay, perfect. Let's continue. Juan Emanuel. 
Okay, he usually comments a little bit late. Juan Gilberto. Juan Gilberto, okay, it's not here. Let's move, Julio Alberto. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Let's continue. Julio Cesar. Julio Cesar is not here, okay. Uh, Karen Beatriz. Present. Okay, nice. Uh, Luis Gerardo. Luis Gerardo. Okay, no here. Veronica Arely. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Uh, Wendy Jamilet. Presente. Okay, perfect. William Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Xiomara Elizabeth. Present. Okay, perfect. Luis Jonathan. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Carlos Jose. I'm here to see present. Okay, nice. And soy la Guadalupe. Present teacher. Okay, cool. All right. Let's start with the short feedback from the things that we were practicing last class, right? And uh, let's start by mentioning what were those topics that we were practicing last class. Do you remember what was, uh, you know, like the main topics from, from yesterday? ¿Cuáles fueron esos dos temas que estuvimos discutiendo la clase pasada? How to, need to. Okay, thank you, William. It was have to and need to, right? Okay, when do we use hash to? Let's see if we remember. Obligación. Ah, okay, cool. When we talk about obligations, right? Something that we have to do, like something that is an obligation for us to complete. Okay, how about need to? When do we use need to? Necesidad. Ah, okay. When you have, or when we talk about necessity, right? Right, those, those are like the main functions of these two structures. All right, so we were creating a lot of uh, uh, questions. No, I have no questions actually. The questions are gonna be today. Examples from your work and examples used in your house, right? You were like given examples, like for example, that you had to pay the, the, the bills, right? That you had to, to, to do a lot of things in your house and so on. So today we're going to continue with something likely the same as that. So just give me one second. I'm going to put the presentation for, for you and then we are going to continue with some things. Like today we're going to be practicing in the manual uh, with some things, right? And uh, we are going to create questions as I told you and practice those questions with, with, with the classmates. So this is the presentation. Give me one second. I guess it's the one. Okay, cool. So this is the video conference number nine. Let's remember that. Uh, and to next topic is going to be like the same as yesterday, but with the only difference that today is mostly practice, okay? Today we're gonna focus on practice the most. So básicamente vamos a seguir con el mismo contenido de ayer, solo que a diferencia de ayer, ahora vamos a hacerlo un poco más práctico, right? We're gonna be practicing more examples, we're gonna be practicing more structures, like the question ones, as I told you. So that's going to be like the ones that we are going to be, uh, you know, like doing. What do we got for the class agenda tonight? Let me see. I'm going to put them all. And uh, William, help me out reading, please. The things. What is the most remarkable things that we got for tonight? Preview from previous topic. Okay, cool. Had to, need to, practice, right. practice, mm -hmm. okay, uh, exercise. 
and exercises. The exercises are the ones that we, you know, show up in the in the manual, right? Esos van a ser los ejercicios con los cuales vamos a estar trabajando en algunos que, que tenemos pendientes en el manual. So the practice is going to be like, like one short conversation that we got there and the same structure as the one that we were practicing, you know, last class. Have to or has to. Let's remember the structure is mostly for first person, second person, and plural, right? Has to is mostly for third person singular and when we talk about a specific person. Okay, we got some examples just, just for you to, to identify, right? Give me one second. Okay, give me one second. Uh, okay, let's continue. So we got some examples in here. Uh, Xiomara, help me already in this one, please. I have to finish my work, homework. Ah, okay, cool. Finish my homework. In this case, it's like the ones, for example, the ones that you have to do, right? In uh, the platform, that's part of your obligation, right? as, you know, like, as a student. Next example, in this case, uh, Carlos Gamero, help me read it, please. You have to check your email. Okay, you have to check your email, right? That's something that is really necess uh, necessary, especially when you have, you know, a lot of things to, um, to get, in the email, right? Next example, Elvin. She has to prepare, pre, come say, prepare. Okay, prepare, uh huh. Prepare the new material. Okay, she has to prepare uh, the new material, right? So okay. in that case, it's part of, probably part of the job, right? Part of the things that, that you get. Okay, thank you. And the last question, Karen, help me a reading. He has to go to the meeting. All right, he has to go to the meeting, right? So in that case, let's remember, all of them represents an obligation, okay? All of them represents obligations that you got to share, right? If you're talking about third person, if you're talking about uh, yourself in first person, all of them represents something that is called obligation. Okay. Cool. Let's remember, has to is mostly for third person, and have to is mostly for okay first person. Okay, cool. What are the things that you got in your job? Yesterday we were practicing about the obligations that you have in your house, right? But what are those obligations that you have in your job? What are like the most common ones? Let's just start by telling that one, right? For example, in my case, one of my obligations is like I had to teach English like every day in the classes, right? Uh, second uh, uh, obligation, for example, I have to wear formal clothes, okay, in my job. And uh, number three, I have to, that's an app. I have to travel for one hour to get to my work. So in that case, th those are mo mostly my examples that represents an obligation, okay, for, for me. What are those things that represents an obligation for you guys, right? Mention three, at least three. Quiero que me mencionen por lo menos tres obligaciones que ustedes tienen con relación a su trabajo. Ayer lo estábamos haciendo, pero eh, con relación a su hogar, like, like in the house. What are those obligations that you got? Okay, now, in the job, what are those type of obligations that you have? I want three examples. When you got them, please let me know, okay? Or turn on the microphone and read them for me. Let's do it. Let's start with that.
Finish, teacher. Okay, perfect, Carlos. Let's wait for the rest. Finish. Okay, nice. Finish, teacher. Okay, perfect. Let's start over. Let's start over then. Hmm. And I'm going to start with Soila. You finished, Soila? Yes, teacher. Okay, cool. Let's start over. Soyla. I have to give meeting at, at people. No, okay. I have to send the, the report. Okay. I have to check email. Now ah, you got to check emails. Mm, okay, pretty cool. Thank you, Soila. Somebody else, turn on the microphones and let me know the examples that you have, please. Okay, teacher. All right, Carlos. I have to arrive early to do my work. Okay. I have to talk with the clients. Perfect. And I have to make a report every day. Okay, cool. You have to make a report every day. Nice. All right, somebody else. Yo, teacher. Okay, cool. Let's continue. I had to prepare the meeting. Okay. I had to send the report. Perfect. I had to check the email. Okay, you had to check the emails. Thank you. All right, somebody else. Me. Okay. Okay, so Mara. I have I have to date the production schedule. Okay. I have to check the system and I have to send the production report. Okay, very good. Thank you, Xiomara. Somebody else that has finished. Yo, teacher. All right, Cindy, let's go. I have to take pictures. I have to clean my desk. Okay. I have to finish the design. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Cindy. Somebody else? Yo, teacher. Okay, let's proceed. I have to speak a lot in my job. Okay. I have to send the reports. Perfect. I have to read the reports daily. Okay, cool. You have to read the reports daily. Nice. Okay. Right. Thank you, Jorge. Okay, teacher. Somebody else? Yeah, teacher. Okay, nice. Continue. I had to tour on the machine. I had to allow the trunk. Okay. Uh, I had to sit the vitamin I invited to con concentrate to concentrate uh -huh. okay all right thank you mister thank you that was one okay somebody else yo <laughs> okay okay all right let me see uh Wendy and then Michelle Okay. Bye. Bye. I have to with my boss. I have to provide report. Mm -hmm. I have to supervise my team. Okay. Good. Ah, you got a team with you? That's perfect. All right. Thank you. Now, Michelle, then Julio Alberto, and then LB. Yeah. Like that. I have to check my email. Okay, Jose. I have to send the report every day. Okay. I have to sign check. Sign every check. Sign check every okay. day. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Now, uh, let me see. What, what, what are these people doing? Yo. Me. I am in. Okay, okay, give me, give me one second, give me one second. Okay, huh? Ivania, Elvi, and then Karen. Okay, I have to send 
mail during the day. Okay. I have to prepare a report in the afternoon. Uh -huh. I have to deliver box in the morning. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Elvi? Okay. I, ha I have to do invoice. I have to visit client. Okay. I have to send email. Okay, you got to send emails. Thank you, Elvi. Karen? I have to check my mail and send reports. I mm. have to buy cleaning products. I have to print and scan documents. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Karen. Uh, Edgar? Uh, I have to send the, the, the re, to report. Okay. The report. Perfect. Uh, I have to check my 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 email. My email. Uh, I have to work. Okay, cool. Yeah, you have to work, right? That's that's an obligation. There you go. All right. Somebody else that has finished. I was yeah. okay. Cool. Uh, I have to check the expenses. Okay. Uh, I have to make the accruals. Okay. Uh, I have to prepare the report monthly. Ah, okay. That's monthly. Uh, monthly. ¿Cómo, tendría, a... ¿Cómo se podría decir los I... movimientos bancarios también? To head to the check move with the bank. Sí. No. And that, that's the bank transactions. Uh -huh. Ah, bank transaction. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can put it like that. All right, cool. Okay. Those ones are at the end of the month, I guess. The yes. report, <laughs> the monthly the report. report at the end of the month, right? Mm -hmm. Son al final del mes. Sí. Por lo general. Yeah, man, that's yeah. tedious, right? <laughs> Por super tedioso. Yeah, man, I can't tell. Uh, okay, okay, cool. All right, thank you, Julio. Uh, Julio Alberto, no sé si, yo creo que lo vi con la manito levantada. Sí. Uh, I have to go a meeting regular, regularly. Regularly, at, okay. Regularly at 6 a.m. I have to send report every day. I have to arrive on time. Okay, you have to <laughs> arrive on time. That's 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 good. Man. That's, <laughs> that's, that's one. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank you, Julio. Now, Jose Pineda, right? Yes. Okay, Jose. Let's read your examples. I had to set the alarm up mid work. Uh -huh. I had to fill the tank. I had to water the plants. No, okay. Okay, you're the one that had to water the plants, okay. Nice, thank you, Jose. Somebody else? Let me see. Carlos, are you there? Gamero? Okay. I have to put to material of construction. Okay. I have to turn off the alarm. All right. I have to repair the computer. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Carlos. Somebody else? Uh, Jonathan? Do what, teacher? Do you read them already? Okay, uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I think that's those, you were one of those that moved the, the, the camera. Let me see who else, who else is missing? Mm -hmm. Carla's already done, Michelle has already finished. So that was the first one. Jorge has already participated. Ah, uh, Veronica. Okay. I have to do psychological attention. I have to send report of the athletes. 
And I have developed the sports festivals. Okay, pretty interesting. Thank you, Veronica. Gerardo, you were about to say something, Gerardo. I have to ship bread, bread. Okay. I have to store bread. Okay. I have to square bread. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you, Gerardo. That was great. All right, somebody else that has finished. I guess everybody has already participated, right? Yeah, I can see yes, yes, yeah, yes, I'm supposed. Okay, cool. Those ones, let's remember. Those ones are basically mostly positive statements related to obligations, right? This is mostly when we talk about obligations. Using have to, okay? And has to, we're gonna be practicing that uh, in the manual, like in a couple of minutes. Now, have to, in questions, this is a little bit different. Let's talk about the structure, check this out. This is mostly the structure that, okay, we generally use. All right, listen. Teacher, excuse that me. Case, uh -huh. Veo que usa usted la palabra mucho que dice mostly. ¿Eso qué significa? Uh, it depends on the use. Mostly, it's like ma ma la mayoría, okay, mayormente. En la mayoría ah, yeah. de casos. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gracias. Take this out. All right. Now, you got the WH word, right? Let's remember, the WH word can be what, what time, who, why, when, where, right? All of those ones. Plus the auxiliary verb that in this case, let's remember. In simple present, the auxiliary verb that you generally use is do or does for third person. Okay, let's remember that. Then we need a subject. After the subject, you need the, the, the structure using have to or has to. Then the main verb, okay, and then a complement. Okay, so this is like the structure to create questions using have to. And we have one example over here. Check this out. Elvi, tell me a reading. Where do you where do you have to eat at lunch? To eat at lunch. Thank eat you. Eat at lunch. Okay. Okay, cool. Where do you have to eat at lunch? Donde tienes que comer en el almuerzo? Check this out. So in that case, we're showing like something called obligation. Let's remember. William, help me read the answer, please. I have to eat in a restaurant at lunch. Now, okay. Take a look. I have to eat in a restaurant at lunch, right? Okay, so in that case, like, ah, tengo que comer en un restaurante en el almuerzo, right? Cool. So this is the way I will create this type of questions using, you know, the structure. Now, next question. Wendy, help me already. What time does he have to be, to be at home? Okay, thank you. What time does he have to be at home. Check this out. In this case, porque tenemos das ahí, porque acordémonos, tenemos una tercera persona y estamos hablando de he, in that case. And every time that we, you know, like start using he, okay, we change from do to does. When do we change that part? Ah, when we basically give the answer, like in this case. Look at this. Will you say that? Help me a reading. Uh, he has to be at home at 7 p.m. Okay, thank you. He has to be at home at 7 p.m. Check a look at that. Y ahí ya no tenemos have to. Ya tenemos has to, right? ¿Por qué? Porque como no tenemos auxiliar, okay? No tenemos ningún auxiliar que nos ayude en la, en la oración. Por eso ya el verbo se modifica, right? You modify the verb. He has to be at home at 7 p.m. 
Recuerden que acá todavía estamos expresando obligación. Ok. Obligation, remember. In that case, in this type of questions. So this is the way how we create questions in first person and third person using have to or has to, right? Cool. Let's start over. I'm going to be asking a couple of questions to you and let's see if you have understood this part. And I'm going to start with uh, William. William. Yeah. Okay, William. Let me see. What time do you have to be in your work? Eh, no escuché, teacher. What time do you have to be in your job? Dice que no sé si soy yo, mi internet, que se oye como... De, no lo he terminado de escuchar bien lo último. Ok, ok. Eh, es que lo escuché en WhatsApp, y to be, hasta ahí les entendí. Ah, ok, ok. Los demás me podrían confirmar si, si me escuchan bien, eh, eh, solo para confirmar si tengo... Sí, sí le escucho bien. Sí, sí, sí. Ok, ok. Yo, yo escucho como entrecortado, la verdad. Oh. Ok, ok, ok. Vamos a ver Yo de nuevo. Yo como robot. Uy, ah, todo correcto, robótico. Sí, como robot. Ah. <laughs> so probably it's going to be my internet, William. All right. No, no problem. I'm going to repeat the question. Listen, listen, listen. What time do you have to be in your work? Um, I have to be in my in my world, in my job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I have to be in my job eight to ten hours. Ah, okay. All right. So eight to ten hours. Okay. Yeah. Oh, but in this case, in this case. All right. Oh, in this case, you can even mention the, the time that you have to be there. For example, like, like I have to be in my job at 8 a.m., for example. Right? Okay. Okay, cool. Cool. LB. Let's see. I'm going to say thank you, William, by the way. All right, LB. Uh, where do you have to buy food for your family? Repítame, por favor. Where do you have to buy food for your family? ¿Dónde compras la comida para tu familia? <laughs> Ajá, Elvi. <sighs> okay, using where, Elvi, I, I am asking about a location. Where you do that activity? Okay. Digamos, ¿dónde compro la comida? Es ah, para mi familia. Okay. ¿Dónde tiene que usted que comprar la, exactly, la comida? Para I su have, I have to go. I have to buy. I have to buy in supermarket. Okay. okay. I have to buy the food for my family. Um, in and you say the supermarket okay okay all right repeat, okay repeat it for me i want to listen okay. to you like do it completely okay. uh -huh. i have uh -huh. to buy uh -huh. um the food Uh, which my family eat in the supermarket. No. Nah, listen, 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 listen to the question. Where, okay. where do you have to buy the food for your family? Look, it's, it's, it's the question is like this. Where do you have to buy the food for your family? 
basically what I'm asking in there is a location, right? In which you are like, not obligated, but um, you have to like, to buy the food for them. Okay, now in this case, Ali, the most important thing here, it's the place, okay? Because the question since it, start, since it starts with where, the most important part in here is the location, okay? So okay. basically what you're doing here is just to repeat part of the question. Look, okay. I have to, and now the verb. Oh, I, have, I have to go I have the to buy, food. Uh -huh. okay, the food. the food for my family uh -huh. in the supermarket. Exactly. Thank you, Elvi. Okay, Michelle. Hola. <laughs> Michelle, okay. Okay, Michelle. What do you have to do at 4 p.m.? ¿A qué hora llego a mi trabajo? No, listen, listen. What do you have to do at 4 p.m. These are just questions with could have to, okay? Come, come. Check this out. I'm gonna write the question for you, Michelle. It says, what do you have to do, okay, at 4 p.m.? Ah. That's the question, Michelle. Uh, uh -huh. I have to check. And check. Uh, para, ¿Cómo se dice? Para entregar a mensajeros. I have to check. Sí. I have to sign, porque ah, ah. Firmando. I have to sign. Check. Ah, check. Pero no sé cómo es para entregar a mensajeros. To give them the... to mensajero, right? Sí. To them. Okay, let, let, let's put it there. Uh, I have to screen check to give them to deliver. Exactly, or to the mailman, right? To deliver them into a, to another place, right? Okay. Okay, let's remember. Listen, listen. In that case, the questions, if you take a look in there, are mostly used using what, what time, you can use where, when, who, why. Uh, these are the most common WH words. Estas son las WH words más comunes, las cuales nosotros podemos ocupar para crear preguntas, ¿ok? Ahora bien, ¿qué verbos podemos trabajar? For example, read, write, uh, work, study, uh, practice, send, okay? So those ones are like really, really, really common. Eat, drink, right? Watch, you see? This series of verbs can help us out. Esta serie de verbos pues nos pueden ayudar igual, okay? All right, so, ahora, si tenemos esa serie de verbos ahí, okay? Like read, write, uh, we got work, study, practice, and eat, drink, and watch. Ahora bien, tomando en cuenta la estructura de cómo crear una pregunta a partir de a la estructura que mencioné anteriormente, la que mostramos, ok. Uh, can you guys please give me one 
example question. Podrían crearme una pregunta usando cualquiera de esos verbos, incluyendo have to. Solamente la pregunta, ¿ok? No answer, just the question. Porque la respuesta la va a dar otro compañero, ¿ok? Puede usar cualquiera de estos verbos que están acá, ya sea read, write, works, pra, uh, practice, study, send, eat, drink, watch. For example, listen up. For example, uh, you can say, where do you have to watch a movie with your children? To call it like that, right? Where do you have to watch a movie with your children? Ah, ¿dónde tienes que ver una película con tus hijos? Right? So in that case, you might, you might say the place, okay, that you are in a somehow obligated to do it. Now, help me out with one example. Only one question, okay? Escojan cualquier verbo y elaboranme una pregunta. Teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. No sé si está ya correcto, usted me... me okay. siento, siento que le hace falta algo. Pero usted Ajá. Me Ajá, ok. Eh, what do you have to read storybooks? What do you have to read? Uh -huh. Storybooks. Esto, siento que le hace falta algo, pero... Listen, listen, listen. Por lo general, si vamos a colocar what en una pregunta... No vamos a colocar... Oh, no, what time, what time, what time. Se me ah, la, ah, esa, what okay, time. ok. Sí, porque yeah, cuando yeah. usamos what, por lo general ya no usamos un complemento. Sí. Sino no, que la pregunta solo quedaría, what do you have to read? Ah, que, okay. que quería preguntar cuánto tiempo, ahí se me, se me fue el time, pero what time do you have to read a story book? A history book. Ah, ok. Ajá, it's acceptable. It's ok. 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 Right? Cool. Aunque ahí ya sería la hora en la que, en la que eh, esa persona tiene o que hacer esa actividad. ¿Por cuánto tiempo? O, o cuánto tiempo. Eso que quiero ah, preguntar, ¿cuánto tiempo? Okay, ok, En cuánto tiempo ya sería, mire, este, este, esta estructura. How long. Uh, how long. Uh -huh. Y al final de how long, colocaría for. Por ejemplo. For. How long do you have to read a book? For, o a history book for. ¿Por cuánto tiempo tienes que leer un libro de historia? Ok. Perfecto. Ah, pues sí. Teacher, yo escribí una, pero no sé. Ok, ready. Es what I said. Eh, the report, perdón, word the report. Uh, repeat again, Julio. What I said, eh, reporting word. Así es, mm, no? no falta todavía. Recuerden que después del what time tiene que ir el auxiliar. <coughs> ¿Cuál es el auxiliar? <coughs> That. Ok, ahí va a depender porque si es tercera persona uh -huh. sería das, si es primera persona sería do. En el caso eh, sería what I do, send. Todavía eh... le falta el, el, el subject, Julio. Recuerde, ah, okay. what, what time do you, ok, le falta you todavía. What time do you? Y luego el, ah, que, sí. indica, el que indica la, la obligación. Have to. What time do you have to? Y luego lo que tiene. Send a report, for example. Ok. <coughs> Voy a hacer otra. <laughs> ok. Ok. But uh, follow the same sequence, ok? Teacher. Ajá. Sí, que tengo otra, pero no sé si... <laughs> Okay, aprendiendo. Read it. Read it. Yes, Vaya, tengo, good. when do you have to watch the car? Okay, very good. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. okay. When do you have to watch the car? Nice. Yeah, thank you. Okay. No, teacher, pero no sé si está bien. 
Okay, read it. Where are you for a uh, well for family? Mm -hmm. Okay, listen, 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 Jonathan. En este caso sí le vamos a hacer un pequeño cambio. Le vamos a hacer unos cambios. ¿Por qué? Porque vaya, para comenzar, miren, la estructura, la estructura no tenemos que olvidarla. Vaya, la estructura va a comenzar con una WH word, que puede ser cualquiera. ¿Ok? Pero luego el modelo va do o da si es tercera persona y luego el subject. Después del subject, ¿qué va? Ah, después del subject, ok, in the case, have to, ok, y luego el verbo principal, para después el complemento, ok, y el finalizar la pregunta. Vaya, ordenémosla entonces eh, con, con lo que tiene, Jonathan, Puedale, ¿podría leérmelo otra vez? Where Ajá. are you? Vaya, en vez de are you... Pongámosle ya sea do, eh, en este caso sería do you. Elimínele are y colóquele do. Uh -huh. Solamente eso sería. Vaya, sería where do you have to y luego el verbo que va a mencionar. O sea que quería where do you go for a walk by your family. Ok, entonces quedaría así, mire. Where do you have to go for a walk with your family? Le quedaría así. Where do you have to go for a walk with your family? Ok, teacher. Ok, perfect. Modify it, Jonathan. Uh, Carlos, do you say something? Uh, tengo, tengo okay. una, este, really? Where do you have to arrive tomorrow? Where do you have to arrive tomorrow? Very good. Eh, fíjese que solo tengo una gran duda. Este, porque, que, este, quise hacer una pregunta con who, pero me quiero la cabeza viendo cómo puedo hacer una, una oración así con have to o con has to, con who. Usted me podría ayudar a hacer una. <laughs> okay, easy. Look, don't complicate that much. Look. Gracias, teacher. Who do you have to talk with? Yes. Okay. ¿Con quién Gracias, tiene... ¿Con quién tienes que hablar? Right? Who do you have to talk with? Thank you. Ok. Ok, read it as no problem. What I to go, raise, raise, go. Mm, en este caso recordemos, mire, esta es la secuencia que vamos a llevar. Ok, si tiene one time, recuerde que sería... Sería más o menos así, mire. What time do you, si es primera persona, have to, y luego el verbo que tiene para, para, para mencionar. Ah, ok. Exactly. Este modelo siempre va a ir. Look, esta parte de acá, siempre, siempre, siempre va a ir. Bueno, si usan what time, ¿verdad? Si usan cualquier otra, igual, lo mismo. Ya sea what time, what, where, when, who, why, lo mismo acá. Luego el do, si es primera persona, siempre va a ir. Al igual que you. ¿Ok? Y luego have to. Y luego el verbo principal que van a indicar la acción. Ok. Perfecto. Modifiquen entonces. All right. Let's modify. Teacher, mire, okay. otra pregunta. Este, con, con el... Igual también podría aplicar en vez de who do, who does. Uh, uh, third person? Exactly. Si es tercera persona, sí. ¿Cómo sería, teacher? Un ejemplo con who does, por favor. Por ejemplo, who does Karen have to um, drive to work? Who does With. Karen have to drive to work? With? Have to uh, drive 
to work with. Exactly. Who does ah. Karen to drive to work with? Exactly. Con quién okay. tiene que manejar el trabajo, Karen? Thank you, teacher. All right. Yes, yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. Uh, Julio Alberto? Teacher, eh, elaboré otra, pero ya la, la siento un poco más, más segura. <laughs> okay, okay, read it, read it, no problem. Who do you receive the report work? Okay, who do you receive the report work? The report eh, eh, the report work. Me, me está queriendo decir esta. With. O work. Word de trabajo. <coughs> ah, ah. Uh -huh. Ok, ok. This one. Sería esta, ¿verdad? Así es. Sí. The report work. Colóquele. Colóquele esta al final. Antes de la pregunta. Digo, antes del símbolo de preguntas. Tiene el micrófono apagado, Julio. No sé si me está diciendo. Sí. Bien. Okay. Sería este después de word antes del símbolo verdad exactly 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 oh, por lo general with. por lo general por lo general el with es para referirse a con quién okay Ajá. el with es con <coughs> all right so in that case that mm. helps us to find an extra person that we work with okay that's basically the main function José, do you y, have one? Y cuando yes. decimos who, give me one second. Al principio. Ajá, ajá, Julio. Es que who, vaya, es cuando quién. Es... Ajá. ajá. Who es quién. Vaya, pero el with al final nos ayuda a decir con quién nosotros hicimos una actividad. ¿Ok? Ah, ok. Es que si solo dice who. <coughs> all right. Eh, estaríamos incurriendo en una en una en una estructura que se llama <coughs> questions about subject que ahí pues ya no ya tendríamos que omitir el auxiliar ok si uh -huh. no colocamos la palabra with por ejemplo como así si yo digo who si, no, si yo solo digo who ok si yo solo digo who estamos diciendo quién ok entonces en la pregunta ¿Quién tiene que ir a la fiesta? ¿Cómo sería? ¿Quién tiene que ir a la fiesta? Ok. Ahí obligatoriamente yo no debo de poner auxiliar, sino que tendría que ser la pregunta Who has to go to the party? Así. Who has to go to the party? Entonces ahí Básicamente no llevaríamos a auxiliar, pero no quiero entrar a ese tipo de preguntas porque eh, las que estamos practicando sí tienen que llevar a auxiliar. ¿Ok? Entonces, básicamente reformulando la pregunta y colocando el with y el auxiliar sería, ¿Ok? Who do you have to go to the party with? Ah, ¿Con quién tienes que ir a la fiesta? Ok, ahora sí es una pregunta directa hacia la persona que tal vez eh, se le está haciendo. Right? Si no usamos un auxiliar, entonces es una pregunta en general sobre una persona. Ok, gracias, teacher. Ok, very good. Karen, I guess you have already finished your example. Can you read it for me, please? What time do you have to study English? Okay, perfect. Thank you, Karen. Jose, let's read yours. Yes. Okay. Read how, long, how long? How long? How long did you go with you by the? Por cuánto tiempo pasaste sin bañarte? Uh -huh. 
a, a, a... <ríe> pasaste sin bañarte. Ok, no, listen, listen. La estructura, eh, 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 vaya, bien, la pregunta es, it's ok, solo que la estructura eh, eh, que usted tiene ahí no es la que estamos usando ahorita, ok? Vaya, usted puede poner, all right, question with how long, it's ok, look, podemos colocar una pregunta con how long, pero en este caso acá, básicamente sería así, mire. How long do you have to take a shower for? Okay. How long do you have to take a shower for? En este caso ya sería diferente. Ya dice, ah, ¿por cuánto tiempo tienes que bañarte? Okay. So okay. in that case, Podríamos estar hablando Gracias. sobre el tiempo en el que nosotros estamos tomando un baño, ¿verdad? Right? Okay. Ajá, Elvi. Se puede, digamos, what time do you have to get to work? What time do you have to get to work? Yes, that one is correct, right? We are indicating in there, okay, um, an obligation. Okay. There you go, Elvi. Thank you. Julio Cesar, how about yours? Yes, uh, what time do oh no? Perdón. What do you have to buy the shoes? What or why? Ah no. Where do you have to buy the to buy the shoes? Ah, okay. Where do you have to buy the shoes? Very good. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Julio. Okay. Wendy. Hello. Oh, Wendy. Uh, Wendy, and then you, Cindy. <laughs> ah, okay. Where do you have to be in five years? Okay, very good. Really, really interesting. Tengo otras. Actually. Okay, read it. Why do you have to study English? Ah, okay, cool. Good question, actually. Why do you have to study English? ¿Por qué tienes que estudiar inglés? Okay, nice. Thank you, Wendy. Cindy, now your turn. Cindy? Pardon. Uh, okay. When do you have, hey, when do you have to schedule the meeting? Okay, very good. When do you have to schedule the meeting? All right, cool. Thank you, Cindy. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Veronica. Yo teach. Okay, Veronica and then you, Michelle. Aha, aha, Veronica. When do you have to watch your favorite movies? Okay, when do you have to watch your favorite movie? Thank you, Veronica. Okay. Michelle. Yo tengo una, pero no sé si está bien. Okay, read it, no problem. Uh, what time does you have to write the email? Tiene das y tiene you. Sí. Uh, o es, does he, does she, o es, do you? Ah, entonces aquí sería, does she have? Ah, ok. Does she have? Ay, sí, la respuesta la puse con she. <laughs> ok, ok. Vaya, thank all you. Right, all right, thank you. Tengo una, profe. Okay, okay. Uh, first, you and then Juan. Jose? Okay, all right, Juan. Let's read you first. Okay. Okay. Why do you have to go with, why do you have to go out with your friends? With your friends, ah, okay. Why do you have to go out with your friends? Very good. Thank you, Juan. Now, Jose. 
You said you got one. Dijo que tenía una. José, are you there? Falta ya. No, okay, cool. Ya, yeah, mi José tiene una entrevista. All right, Ivania. Let's read. Where, where do you, where do I have to prepare samples at Godor? Okay, very good. Thank you, Ivania. Carlos you. Gamero. Uh, okay, soy la, soy la and then Carlos. Okay. Una vez está buena. Where do you have to do the practice? Okay, very good. Where do you have to do the practice? That's good. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Now, Carlos. When do you have to write the report? Ah, okay, very good. When do you have to write the report? Excellent. Somebody else? Can you see? Okay. Eh, vamos a ver si está buena. Dice, why does, why does Susana have to come late? ¿Está bien? Why does Susana have to come late? ¿Por qué Susana tiene que venir tarde? Ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. It is representing, mm -hmm. it is representing basically, uh, okay, that part, right, of obligation. Okay, very good. So that was part of the things that we were like, you know, like practicing, right? Jorge, let's read yours, Jorge. Yeah. Uh, where does he have to watch movies? Where does he have to watch movies? Okay. Very good. Thank you, Jorge. Okay. Mm. okay teacher. All right. Perfect. Gerardo. No. Okay. Why do you have to work the Saturday? Why do you have to work on Saturday? Yes. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Gerardo. Let me see. I think this Gerardo was missing, right? Yeah, because most of you have already gave your participation example. Cool. Let's continue. Okay, now, need to. If you remember, need to is just to express a necessity, right? Necessity, remember that. The structure for a question using need to is likely similar to the one, okay, that we got in practice with have to. WS word plus auxiliary verb, in this case, plus subject, plus need to, plus verb, plus complement. So basically, this is the one that we need. And we get some examples in here, right? Example number one, Carlos Chavez. Dice, who do you need to buy food with? Okay, very good. Who do you need to buy food with? ¿Con quién necesitas comprar comida? You might say, I need to buy food with my co-workers, with my family, okay, and so on, right? Ah, check this out. Michelle, help me already in this one. Uh, I need to buy food with my wife. Excellent. Let's continue. Soila. Why, why does she need to go to the doctor? Okay. Why does she need to go to the doctor, right? Ah, ¿por qué ella necesita ir al doctor? Xiomara. She needs to go to the doctor because she is sick. Okay, very good. She needs to go to the doctor because she is sick, right? Ah, ella necesita ir al doctor porque está enferma. So this is the way how we create 
this type of a structure, right? This structure over. Cool. Let's remember, need is mostly to show necessity. Need is básicamente para mostrar necesidad. Okay. Let's remember that case. Okay, now, question of the structure. Viendo la estructura, ¿tenemos alguna pregunta con respecto al uso de Nipsey? Si ven en cuanto a estructura, lo único que cambia es que antes era have to y ahora es need to. Esa es la única diferencia en la estructura. Y ahí, si ven, todo lo demás es lo mismo. Ok, any question up to now? Hasta acá tenemos alguna pregunta. Cuando es la respuesta en, ter en tercera persona, se le agrega la, la, la S, ¿verdad? Exactly. En, en la to... respuesta, sí. Exacto. En la respuesta, sí. Ahí sí ya le agregamos la S. ¿Ok? Al verbo. Right? In that case, yeah, we need the S to the verb. Ahí sí ya le estamos agregando. ¿Ok? La S. Teacher, disculpe. Este... Ajá. Todo que siempre las preguntas que usted ha hecho con who, todas terminan en with. Eso También, es parte de la pregunta. Vaya, with viene siendo parte de la pregunta porque es para decir con quién. Aunque también podemos usar algo, otras preposiciones, como por ejemplo, look, si yo digo, if I say this, look, who do you hmm, buy food for? Okay, teacher, for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, aquí sí es diferente. En la primera dice, who do you need to buy food with? ¿Con quién necesitas comprar comida? Ahora, usando for, ah, ¿para quién necesitas comprar comida? ¿Para quién bien? o para qué? No, ¿para quién? Ajá. ¿Para quién? Porque estamos usando who. Recuerde que who significa quién. Aquí ya eh, eh, la intención de la pregunta, o básicamente la, la pregunta ha cambiado. Porque en una es con quién usted hace la actividad. Y la otra es para quién usted hace la actividad. ¿Ok? This is different. ¿Sí ven? Por eso es que es bien importante aprendernos este tipo de, 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 de palabras, ¿verdad? Right? Sí. Porque a veces una palabrita pequeña, mínima, cambia el contexto a veces. Y la respuesta a esa pregunta de who do you need by food for? Por ejemplo. All right. I, need, uh, I need to buy food uh, for my mommy, por ejemplo. ¿Se podría? Exactly. La like idea se lo sí. puede hacer de esta manera. And it's no problem. I need to buy food for my mother. All right? And that's the way how we write down this type of structures. Cool. Hasta acá tenemos igual, alguna pregunta. Igual cuando, cuando se ocupa why, o sea que siempre lleva because, ¿verdad? Exactly, exactly. Recordemos que why es para decir por qué en la pregunta. Y because es para decir por qué, pero ya cuando se da la explicación, ¿ok? Sobre la pregunta. Something else? ¿Alguna otra duda que podamos tener? Okay, cool. If you don't have any question, any doubt, let's continue. Vamos a continuar entonces. Okay, now let's go to the practice. Ahora sí, nos vamos a ir al manual. Okay, al manual. Pero antes, give me one second. It's 9 or 10. Time to pass the attendance list. Vamos a pasar la asistencia antes de hacerlo. Let me, let me check this thing. Okay, Carlos Mauricio. 
present. Nice. Cindy okay. Melanie. Present teacher. Nice. Elvi Quintanilla. Present teacher. Okay. Miss Stephanie Michelle. Present. Excellent. Gustavo Adolfo. Ivania Yamilet. Present teacher. Nice. Jorge Alberto. Present teacher. Mm, okay. Let me. Jorge. I mean, Jose Antonio. I'm blind. Jose. Okay. Cool. Jose Edgar. Present. Okay. Juan Emanuel. Present. Ah, okay. Nice. Let's see, Juan Gilberto. Uh, I think Juan Gilberto was the one with the problems with the internet. Okay, uh, Julio Alberto. Present teacher. Perfect, Julio Cesar. Present. Okay, nice. Karen Beatriz. Present. Excellent. Luis Gerardo. Present. Okay. Verónica Arely. Verónica, are you there? Okay, I think she's busy. Wendy Yamilet. Present. Okay, nice. William Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, cool. Uh, Xiomara Elizabeth. Present. Okay, excellent. Teacher, okay. acá estoy. Luis Jonathan. Ah, yeah, okay, Present. Veronica. Present teacher. Okay, Veronica. Okay, uh, Jonathan. Present teacher. Nice, Jonathan. And thank you. Carlos Jose. Big teacher present. Perfect. And the last one, Soy La Guadalupe. Present. Okay, very good. So those are the ones. Okay, perfect. Let's move on. Let's move on. Give me one second. I want to show something to you. This is the one that we're going to be practicing. Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, I think you can you can see that part. All right. So this is this is part of the job that we're going to be doing. This is the conversation that we were practicing, you know, like yesterday, right? And we were doing that part. Now it's missing this error, this part. Give me one second. I was missing this part. It says, esta parte la vamos a hacer en parejas. La voy a explicar acá. Cómo es que vamos a hacer. Y nos vamos a ir a trabajar en parejas para que todo se nos haga más, un tanto más sencillo. Listen, it says, your turn. Write about something you have, you have to or need to do these days. Escriban sobre algo que ustedes tengan o necesiten hacer estos días. Ok, in here, listen. We got when, what time, and where. And when, for example, in that case, you got to mention the activity, okay? You got to mention the activity that you basically do or have to do or need to do when you have free time. So no tienen tiempo libre. What time? What time, for example, you might say, and a specific hour that you have to do something. And where is the location? For example, look. Take this out. Okay, I can write down in here something like that. I had to do my homework when I feel good. 
Ah, tengo que hacer mi tarea cuando me sienta bien. What time? Por ejemplo. Check this out. I need to buy food. Where? I have to take my dog to the park. Check this out. In here, ya estamos hablando sobre una ubicación, a location. Bien. Entonces acá, this one is the one that is giving basically uh, the location from something, right? So in, the, in this case, this is the way how we're going to be working. Entonces esta es la forma en cómo vamos a estar trabajando. Check that out. ¿Y por qué los vamos a ir a trabajar en parejas? Ah, porque así el uno con el otro se van a corregir si hay algún error que ustedes estén haciendo. Por eso es que ustedes van a compartir estas oraciones cuando las hagan. Example, si Karen trabaja con Ivania, Karen le puede leer la oración a Ivania y decirle, I have to take my dog to the park. Y Ivania le va a decir si la oración, ella cree que está correcta. Ok, so ahí es como para ayudarnos, right? Y a la misma vez poder estar interactuando con las oraciones que tenemos. Where, donde van a desarrollar actividades, what time, en qué momento, and when, that is for Like, you remember, situations, right? Recuerden que acá ya es para situaciones. Okay. Ah, cuando tengo tiempo libre. Ah, cuando trabajo. Okay, and so on. Now, let's move. Ahora bien, ese solo es una parte. Ahora bien, la siguiente parte dice, look, write activities you have to do or need to do in your job. Then interview two classmates and write the activities they have to do or need to do. Example, listen. Aquí ustedes, listen, en esta parte donde dice your list, me van a escribir por lo menos cinco actividades que ustedes hacen en su trabajo. Acá, aparte de las que ya tienen, de los ejemplos que me dieron. Y acá, con la persona que estén trabajando, esa persona les va a leer lo que ellos hacen o tienen que hacer o necesitan hacer en el trabajo y ustedes acá lo van a escribir en esta área, pero usando tercera persona, ¿ok? Usándolo en tercera persona. ¿Cómo así? Si Karen dice, I have to buy a new computer. Ah, y Carlos está trabajando con ella, Car eh, Carlos va a colocar, she has to buy a new computer. ¿Ok? So this is the way. Entonces, la oración ya de Carlos sería en tercera persona, ¿verdad? Right? Pero en esta zona donde dice Your Classmates Leads. Ok, cool. ¿Any question? ¿Alguna pregunta? Se le escuchó eh, bueno, cortado. Sí, sí, casi no. Sí, eso le, no se me oye, pero casi no se le escucha. Jesus Christ. Se escucha. Ok, all right. De seguro es porque está norteando un poco fuerte acá. Ok. Ah, uh, how about now? Y ahora? Okay, I think I have problems with the internet. Give me one second. Creo que tengo problemas de conectividad. Eh, give me one second. Creo que es debido al, eh, al viento ahorita. Ah, you know, like, that happens. How about now? The problem remains the same. El problema permanece lo mismo. Ok, give me one second. Okay, how about now? Do you have the same people? Uh, 
You have internet teacher. Yes. I can fix. Okay. All right, all right. Give me one second. Give me one second. I'm gonna do something else. I need to do something here. Just just to check if it, if it is the internet. Give me one second, guys. All right, just give me one second, guys. All right, y ahora me pueden escuchar mejor. I hear you very clear. Ahora sí se escucha mejor. Nah, ok, cool. Ahorita sí se le escucha. Ok, perfecto. Ya, yeah, me has to change the internet. Tuve que cambiar el internet del Wi-Fi a mi teléfono. So, a lo mejor el del Wi-Fi ha de estar fallando bastante. Es que acá están orqueando un poco fuerte. A lo mejor eso ha de ser eh, un problema. Así que. Eh, si escuchan que igual ya se me va poniendo robótica la voz en everything, let me know, ok háganmelo saber porque voy a suponer que hubo parte de la explicación que no me, no, no me escucharon para nada ok, but anyways, I was explaining this part, entonces estaba explicando esta parte, listen, acá irá su lista, ok de actividades en las cuales ustedes tienen que hacer en su trabajo o necesitan hacer Acá vamos a practicar have to and need to, ¿ok? En las, en, las, en las oraciones que van a colocar. Y acá, con el compañero que les mencionaba que van a estar trabajando, su compañero les va a leer la lista que cuando ya la tengan hecha, ¿ok? Supongamos que Gerardo está trabajando con Julio. Julio escribe su lista acá de cinco actividades, entre have to y has to, y luego Gerardo también, acá. 5. Ok. Luego Gerardo le va a leer a Julio su lista y Julio acá la va a escribir cada, un, cada una de las oraciones que le dé Gerardo la va a escribir en tercera persona. Si acá Gerardo le lee I have to buy a new computer acá Julio va a poner He has to buy a new computer. Ok. That's the way how you're going to be working in here. Right? In here. Pero remember, si es need to, si acá dice I need to, aquí va a decir he needs to o she needs to. Recordemos que le vamos a agregar S a la palabra need, ok, al verbo need. All right. Any question with this? ¿Alguna duda de lo que vamos a hacer? Acá son cinco por todas. Eh, cinco. Sí, have to and need to. Exactly. Exactly, cinco por todas. Uh -huh. Ok, perfect. If you don't have any question, let's go to work. Bueno, si no tenemos ninguna pregunta, entonces vámonos a trabajar, ok? Let me see. I'm gonna stop sharing in here and I am going to create the groups. How many are we right now? 18. Ok, cool. Yo no Ok. One else is missing. Diecinueve. Automatically. All right. Who was, who was getting disconnected? Alguien se le fue el internet también acá. Let me see who is.
Ah, okay. It was Jonathan. Jonathan, can you listen to me? Okay, uh, can you listen to me, guys? Hello? Hola, si sí te escucho, uh, yo lo escucho. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know why. I mean, I'm having, like, a lot of issues with this internet. All right, but let me see if I can if I can create the groups. Give me one second. Okay, if you listen to me, please let's enter to the groups. Let's enter to the breakout rooms. Yeah, I mean, let's enter to the breakout room. Says, so let's go to work in here. Okay, uh, Jose Edgar, Juan Campos, let's go to work. Jose, Juan. Juan, can you listen to me? Okay, he has already entered. Hola. Okay. Hola. Hello. Is he Jose here? Este, no. No sé si se le habrá ido el internet o algo a José, pero no, no contesto. José, are you there? Hmm. José, give, give me one second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let okay. you. Okay, Jose is there, right? Jose, are you there? Yes, yes. Ah, okay, sí. nice. Se me fue la señal. Ah, <laughs> sí, me lo imagino. Sí, siempre se le, se le, se oye como cortado. Ah, yeah, I mean, I'm trying to fix that, that, that part. Correcto, sí. Okay, perfecto, perfecto. Bien, entonces acá está Jorge, en el cual va, va a estar practicando, ¿ok? Ok, gracias, Tich. <coughs> Okay. Jorge. Okay. 
Yeah. All right, let's go to work, honey. And and how's it? Es que es que como que va a llover, a saber si eso tiene que ver, pero pero hasta sí. ahorita me ha empezado a fallar, ajá. Exacto. Vaya. Ahorita sí, ya escucho bien. Y a mí me escuchan teacher. bien, me escuchan bien ahorita. Más o menos. Le voy a decir la primera. No, 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 listen, 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 listen. Give me a second, give me a second. Eh, voy a reiniciar el modem ahorita. Ahorita estoy desde el internet de mi teléfono, pero voy a reiniciar mm, el modem. Tal no vez le me escucho funciona. al teacher. Está bien, teacher. I can hear you. Como okay. en cámara lenta. Ok, voy a reiniciar el modem para, para conectarme con el internet del Wi-Fi, porque sí, me está dando problemas. Give me one second, ok? okay. Sure, take your time, teacher. Ok. Eh, ok, Fanny. Hola, ¿me escucha? Sí, ¿usted me escucha a mí? Sí, ah, al teacher no le escuchaba y a usted sí. Vaya, le voy a decir la primera mía, ¿está bien? Vaya, sí, diga. Okay, de que es when, entonces puse I need to travel when I when, when I save money. Y ahí como qué quiere decir? Yo necesito viajar cuando ahorre dinero. Ah, okay. Okay, the second one sería what time? Sería I need to find you. Where are you? Eso sería where. Para, para usar where. Okay, yo ya usar... regreso. Eh, I'm sorry, sorry. Ya regreso. Alguien me está solicitando ayuda, ¿ok? I'm coming back. Excelente, sí. Ok. Este, como el push. Hi, teacher. Aquí está. Hello. Ajá. Uh -huh. Hello. Eh, ok. Solo... Eh... Uh -huh. Tell me. No. Que también se le escuchó cuando yo le escuché parte cortada la primera parte, teacher. Solo okay. alcancé a escuchar de que eran, eran obligaciones que íbamos a hacer, ¿verdad? ¿Obligaciones en modo de pregunta o en modo de sentence? Nah, en, modo de, en modo de oraciones. Por ejemplo, eh, expresando cuándo. Vaya, cuando hay una situación. Por ejemplo, I have to drive okay. my car when it is raining, for example. Ah, tengo que manejar cuando llueve. Okay. Uh, examples like that. Entonces, por ejemplo, está la otra sección que es what time? I have to eat the dinner at 6 p.m. I need to speak English in the class at 8 p.m., for example, right? So, oh, es okay. expresando what time. Y la otra, where, Because... es donde, donde usted hace una actividad. ¿Cuántas oraciones era por, por, por expresión? Let me see. There, it says there. What about something you have to need to? Por lo menos unas tres por cada una. ¿Ok? Tres por cada una. Ok. Yeah. Vaya, y, y las vamos a hacer, digamos, yo las mías, el compañero Juan. Exacto, la de él, las de él y, y, así. y ahí pasamos a la siguiente parte. Con, ajá, con ajá. Luego las revisan si entre ustedes y si, si creen que las tienen bien, ¿ok? Juan le puede leer la, las, las de él a usted, usted okay. la, a la suya es a él, y luego pasan a la otra parte, ¿ok? Muy bien. Perfecto. Ok, gracias, teacher. Ok. Mi... Ah. Ah. Fíjese que estábamos con él, él discutiendo que íbamos a hacer las oraciones con when, where y what time. Entonces, yo las hice así, ¿verdad? Yo tengo mis dudas si está bien o no. Con, este, por ejemplo, con when, yo creé la, la mía que, que, que dice I need to travel when I save money. ¿Está bien? Yes, yes. Okay. okay. La, la segunda sería eh, I need to know what, is, what time is it. ¿Está bien? I need to know what time is it. Yes. It's okay. okay. Y la última con where puse I have to find you 
Where are you? I need to find you. I need to find you. I need to find you. Where are you? I need to find you. Where are you? <laughs> Usando el huerva. No sé si está bien o está mal. Ok. Ajá. Solo que como ahí, como ahí hay una pregunta. I need to find you. Necesito encontrarte. ¿Dónde estás? Ajá. Where are you? Usando yeah, it's okay. It's okay. ¿Mm? okay. Yeah, it's okay. Cool. Por lo menos, okay. listen, por lo menos en cada una de esas tienen que haber tres. Tres, tres ejemplos, ¿ok? Sí, porque lo que veo es de que Stephanie lo puso de otra forma. Ajá. Ajá no. ¿En ¿Cómo, lo, cómo, ¿Cómo lo hizo él? ¿Cómo lo hizo? Vaya, donde es que es que no sé si yo no entendí bien, pero vaya, donde dice when coloqué I have to buy the new cell phone in Saturday. Saturday. Donde dice what time coloqué I need clean my house y where I have go to work in San Salvador. Vaya, la, esa última está bien. Por ejemplo, en, what, en donde dice what time, por lo menos eh, colóqueme la hora. La hora. ¿Okay? Ah, entonces sería at 7 a.m. Por ejemplo, exactly. And, um, en la primera, léame la primera. I have to buy the new cell phone in Saturday. Mm, ahí colóqueme le mejor una situación y no el día. Example, I need to buy a new cell phone when I have money. Por ejemplo, ah, necesito comprar un nuevo teléfono cuando trabaje. Ok. Uh, ok. Cool. Y así hacer por lo menos tres de cada sección, ok. Ahí está lo Nah, come on. <laughs> That's three, okay? Okay. All right. Ahorita, uh, ahorita tal. Chair. Hello. Tenemos solamente una, bueno, que nos aclare. De la uh -huh. primera del cuadrante donde está when, what time, y where. Uh -huh. No precisamente es que vamos a hacer preguntas. No. Sino que vamos a hacer lo que, las cosas que vamos oraciones. a hacer. Oraciones. Oraciones, exactly. Ah, pues sí. Vaya, por ejemplo, en when, ahí es cuando eh, les mencionaba cuando surge una situación. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Ejemplo, si ustedes dicen, I have, listen up, I have to buy a cell phone. When I have money, for example. Uh -huh. right. Entonces, yo escribí, uh -huh. I have to write a note when my boss tell me. No exactly, sé si exactly. Uh -huh. solo, sí, que ahí, yo tell, también... solo, hay, solo que ahí cuando, donde dice tell, agréguele S, porque es tercera persona. Y usted me corre ah, si... Okay. Porque uh -huh. también igual había puesto yo como, I have to finish the report in my job. I have to finish a report in my job. Oh, in my work. Ah, esa, esa, esa está como para la tercera. Exactly. Esa está para where. Ajá. De lugar. Uh, where. Exactly. De uh, lugar. Porque uh, está mencionando uh, el lugar donde está haciendo la, la acción. Uh, y no uh, menciona como okay, cuándo. Okay. Exactly. Ah, oh, ok. Eso. Perfecto. Oh, sí. Perfecto. Perfect. clear. So that's the way how you will do it, okay? Okay. Nice. Carlos, ¿estamos bien, Carlos? Sí, okay, recién lo estamos claro. Perfect. Vaya, entonces, este, vaya, me avisan cuando ya, ya terminemos la primera para que empecemos con la... Ah, actually, actually, actually por, lo menos, por lo menos tienen que haber tres actividades por cada sección ahí de esas, de, ese primer, de esos primeros recuadros, ¿ok? Tres por cada una. ¿Tres por cada una? Yes, tres. Solo llevamos una. Three examples. Okay. Que no hay espacio ahí, es que no hay espacio ahí para escribir. No cabe, bicho. Ah, come on, man. I know there is space. Todavía hay espacio, a ver, let's make it up, ¿ok? Pues si tres cada uno, como somos tres, ya va un cuadro. Ah, come on, man. Uh, <laughs> ok.
Arriba, ladies. ¿Cómo vamos? Ya terminamos. You finished? Really? Yes. Yes. How many, how many sentences do you have in the charts where it says where, what time, and uh, when? Yes. Una. 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 Una por cada uno. Sí. Agréguenmele dos más. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry, ladies. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I have been saying that porque creo que sí, cuando estaba dando la explicación, no, me, no, no, no se me escuchó. Y, y como he uh -huh. estado teniendo problemas de internet, ahorita con el internet de mi teléfono estoy porque el Wi-Fi murió. I don't know why. All right. No, in that case, three, three, three sentences per uh, using when. Three sentences like, like with what time and three sentences with uh, where, right? But let's remember, those are not questions, right? Are positive statements. Yes. Okay, okay. perfect. Okay. No, me no vas a dar. No, no Why? <laughs> I was coming to check you, man. <laughs> no a sacarla. Ah, mira, estamos grabando, ¿ya ves? Yes, I know, I know Bye. you're Entonces... working. Ay, eran cinco las primeras. No, vamos? ¿verdad? No. no, eran tres por cada una. Tres. Yes. O sea, una de cada una. Una con when, una con Wanai y otra con where. Tres por cada uno. O sea que no va a No, solo hemos hecho una. Jesus Christ. No, es que sí, creo que cuando estaba dando esa indicación, eh, es cuando me comenzó a fallar el wifi. De hecho, ahorita estoy con el, sí. el internet de mi celular porque el wifi murió. No sé por qué. I don't know why. Ah, pues. There were uh, three examples using where. Ya ve, teacher. Three ya ve, teacher. What time? Ah. Hasta el... <laughs> Hasta el cuando se cansó. Exactly. Estamos cansados. Estoy muerta. <laughs> no, nah, but it's uh, no problem. Yeah, I think you, you can finish in less than, than 20 minutes. Si no uno, cada uno, cada uno, estaríamos tres. Vea, uno y Alberto, uno yo y uno soy. <laughs> Excelente, compañero. Listen, 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 listen. Ok, bueno, entonces sería... Listen, listen, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Vaya, no se compliquen. Miren, se los voy a aceptar de esta manera. Vaya, oh. como tienen uno cada uno, ¿ok? Vaya. Si Gilberto hace tres, uno usando where, uno usando what time y uno usando what... Uh, When, creo que es la otra. Mm. When, what time, and where. What time? where. Vaya, where? que Gilberto haga una de cada una. Soy la una de cada una. Usted, el vi uno de cada una. Yes, pero sí, que sí. espero que sean diferentes. Yes, y sí. luego se las comparten y hacen las mismas para que den tres en cada sección. Okay. Is that? Okay. Yes. Okay, let's do it that way. Excelente, okay. teacher. Okay. okay. <laughs> you go. Bueno, pues tienen 10 okay. sí, minutos para terminar, ¿ok? Ok, gracias. Thank nice. you, teacher. Ok, perfecto. Teacher. Yes. Como yo, yo de último y, y, y inicié la sesión porque se me chupa. <risa> ya, mira, eso era, sí, así vi que, que, que lo sacó el. el, el Ajá, entonces. La sesión. Ajá. Una, una oración con, con Gwen. Ah, exacto. Usando Gwen. Que que indique, que, indique, con... ajá, que indique una situación. Uh -huh. Otra con que lleve, digamos, guatay. No, 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 no necesariamente no. que lleve guatay, sino que lleve la hora. Por ejemplo, ah, hora. por ejemplo, I need to eat dinner at 7 p.m. Y ahí tiene una. Oh. ¿Ok? Que indique la hora. No necesariamente guatay. Y la otra usando where, pero en ese caso no use where. Lo que puede usar es el lugar donde usted desarrolla la actividad. Por ejemplo, I have to... Siempre nosotros pusimos, ajá. Eh, I, I have to go to the meeting at the hotel. Exactly. 
Ajá, y ahí ya está hablando de un lugar. Ok. Ajá. Nice. Oh, thanks. Ok, perfecto. I have to drive. I have to drive in the Hello. Hola. ¿Cómo Hola. vamos? ¿Cómo vamos acá? Tengo una duda. <risa> este, okay. En la primera parte eh, eran preguntas. No, oraciones. Ah, ok. <risa> yes. Ah, pues, sí. Vaya, eh, son tres de cada una. ¿verdad? Es correcto. Ah, vaya. Ah, pues vamos a hacerlo porque no me equivoco. Ay, ay, ay. Por, por ejemplo, listen. Ah, usando when. Ustedes ahí pueden hacerlo cuando indiquen una situación. Por ejemplo, I have to buy a cell phone when I have money. Tengo que comprar un celular cuando tenga dinero. I need to travel when I save money. Ah, necesito viajar cuando ahorre dinero. Sí, oraciones así, usando when, ¿ok? Eh, ah, ok, pues, por ejemplo, ajá. yo he hecho, I have to meet with oh. my boss when, when he arrives. When he arrives. Cuando él exactly. llega. Exactly, exactly. Like that. Usando, por what, ejemplo, time, ajá, ajá. usando what time, no necesariamente va a colocar what time, ok? Sino que la hora, la hora de una actividad. Por ejemplo, I need to arrive with my host. 7 p.m. Exactly. Exactly. Ah, vaya, pues, y usando sí, where sí. Eh, es para mencionar el lugar. Solo menciona el lugar y ya no necesariamente where. Mm, ok. Bye. Ok. Perfecto. Gracias. Bye. Pues vamos a hacer oración. Hello. Hola. Hello, ¿Cómo vamos? teacher. ¿Cómo vamos? Pues ya estuvo, creo. <laughs> ah, you finished already? Yeah. Yes. All right. Yeah. How, many, how many examples do you do in, in, in the sections where it says where, what time, and when? Uh, what do you have to do? The... How many, how yeah. many, okay, but how many examples do you have? Yes. When do you have to go to the job? Ok, de esa cuestión. Y aparte de esa pregunta, ¿cuántos ejemplos más tiene? Eh, de ahí, no, solo hicimos una por cada. <ríe> por cada tipo, what time. Ah, por tres. cada. Ajá. Ah, Ajá. Ahí solo una hice. Ah, pues voy a hacer ok, listen, listen, listen. En este caso, la primera, está bien, déjenla como pregunta. Las otras dos, háganlas a modo de, de oraciones positivas. Por ejemplo, mm -hmm. indicando una situación, usando when, I need to go to Guatemala when I have money. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. right? That's a situation. Usando where, ahí pueden mencionar un lugar. I have to go to work to San Salvador, por ejemplo. Right? Ahí estamos mencionando un lugar, no necesariamente where. Uh, using what time. Ahí lo que pueden hacer es mencionar la hora de una actividad, ¿ok? Ya sea usando okay. have to o need to, ¿ok? Something short, okay. algo corto, ¿ok? Ah, ok. Perfecto. Hello. ¿Cómo are you go here? ¿Cómo vamos? Hola. Ya los pasamos. ¿You finish? Ya sí, hasta creímos que ya. Estamos esperando que nos digan que ya podemos continuar. Ajá, ah, ok, perfect. How many examples did you do in the first part? Sorry. 
five examples. Mm -hmm. Perfect. In the second part. Y en la segunda parte. Ay, no, solo la segunda hemos hecho. Nada. ¿Ah? Solo la segunda parte? parte. ¿Y que había que hacer la de arriba, pues? Eh, sí, esta también. Esta parte aquí. Y ahí tendrían que hacer cuántas? Una. When, what time, and where. Listen. En esta parte, lo que pueden hacer es. Ok. Uh, por lo general, he estado pidiendo tres. Háganme dos ustedes. Una Xiomara, una usted, Edgar. Y luego las unen. Ok. Para que tengan dos en cada una. Ok. Por ejemplo. Exactly. Usando when. Acá lo que pueden hacer es, es ponerme una oración afirmativa. Usando when, que indique una situación. Por ejemplo, I need to buy a cell phone when I work. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. one. Ah, necesito comprar un celular cuando trabaje. Usando what time. Ah, I, I need to start to work at eight. ¿Ok? O usando where. I have to... Go to Guatemala, por ejemplo. Y ahí estamos mencionando el lugar. Bueno. Ok, okay perfecto. How do you go, Julio? Are you about to finish? Are you finished? Yeah, ahorita la última estoy haciendo. Okay, perfect, perfect. Teacher, este, cuando hablamos de saldo de dinero, eh, ¿qué para qué? ¿Cómo se puede pronunciar? Mm, but in that case, what do you mean by that? ¿Qué quiere poner en sí? Eh, I had to y quiero poner saldo o dinero my work balance yeah. I have to uh, in my work balance saldo en mi cuenta de banco mm, ajá, no, es que lo que quiero poner es que tengo que llegar al saldo que me piden diario. Ah, I had to get. Ok, I had to get. To get, 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 ¿verdad? Exactly. The amount. Uh -huh. The amount. Ahorita le pongo esta parte. Mire. The amount. The amount of money required. Eso es como la, la cantidad de dinero o el monto requerido, right? Ajá. Uh -huh. okay. uh, en eso tenía traba que. Ok. Uh -huh. No, no sabía cómo. All right. Well, you got it there, ok. Require, eh, de verdad. Require. Ajá. Uh -huh. Require. Require. Yeah. Sí. Ok. Cool. Keep working, ok. Hello. Hey, I was I was coming here. Aha, uh -huh. what happened? You finished? Yes, teacher. Sí. Vaya, yo le tengo que. Vaya, yo tengo mis cinco. A las cinco. Aha. Aha, las cinco. Entonces, no sé si. Vaya, yo, digamos, puse, I had to y need to. No, no importa si van revueltas, digamos, las, las que yo he creado. Eh, no, sí, es que ahí, ahí podía hacerlas usando have to y usando need to. Ajá, cualquiera de las dos ajá. estructuras puede utilizarlas. Ajá, porque las he así, ajá. Entonces, digamos, así como, digamos, I have to shop online. Ajá. Le dame otra. I have I, I have to wash the car. Okay, cool. 
en este caso a Jorge ya tendría que tener esa oración en tercera persona he has to he, wash he, the car así la tendría has, que tener he has to wash the car así tendría que tenerla Jorge the car yes Okay. Okay. Right. ¿Alguna otra duda? Así sería entonces, ¿verdad? Y, digamos, en tercera persona, perdón, ¿cómo, cómo digamos, digamos, yo digo, I have, I have to shop online. Y en tercera Ajá. persona, ¿ves? Ok, yeah. ok, vaya, en ese caso, I have to shop online. Usted tiene esa, ¿verdad? Sí. En este caso, Jorge la tendría que tener. He, ok, o José, has to shop online. Ahí, ahí ah, se los acabo de mandar al, 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 al chat de, de ah, Zoom ah, para que la vean. Es exacto, sí, ahí tenía dudas, sí. Uh -huh. Gracias, Ticha. Vaya, entonces si Jorge dice, I have to buy a cell phone, usted, José, va a poner. He has to buy a cell phone. Ok. Yes, esa es la forma. Sí. Ok. Ahí sería entonces. Gracias, perfect. teacher. Ok, perfecto. I'm just going to check one more. Necesito revisar una parejita más antes de volver a la sala principal, ok? Ok. Ok, nice. La, la siguiente. Sí, I need to the visit. I need to the visit the Coca-Cola company in the, eh, in the week, porque en la semana tengo que visitar algo. No sé si, teacher, usted, sería correcto en the world. I need to the visit Coca-Cola de Coca-Cola company Friday. On Friday. On Friday. Yes, solo que el the visit, ese D, elimínelo. Es, I need to visit. Ajá, uh -huh, I need to visit. Yes. The Coca-Cola company uh -huh. on Friday. Exactly. Ah, ok. I need to the visit. Bueno, ok. Ya hicimos la, la, la otra parte. Para que aquí en la primera no hemos quedado. <laughs> ah. Okay. ok. Now, actually, actually, I think tomorrow we're going to continue with that part. Eh, ahorita, pues, Let me see what time is it. Es casi, casi, casi la hora. Vamos a ver quiénes uh -huh. lo han terminado, quiénes no. Porque esto, como seguimos mañana, igual con la práctica, mañana vamos a, a, a dar las respuestas que, que tienen, porque como todos tienen respuestas diferentes. Y mañana pues vamos a continuar con otra práctica general, con unas conversaciones que todavía están pendientes. Y unos párrafos igual que también necesitamos leer. Son, son de mano, ¿ok? Bien, ok. Vámonos a la sala principal entonces para revisar, ¿ok? De acuerdo. Okay. Nice. On time, teacher. Micrófono, teacher. Ok, pero miren, no, nadie, nadie quiere volver ahorita. Creo que no he terminado todos. Yeah. Y están regresando Está porque... Está interesante. Exactly. Y están regresando porque los está sacando el Zoom. <ríe> oh, my God. I'm sorry, people. I'm sorry. Maybe, maybe resolve that tomorrow. No, right, actually... Teacher? Yeah, actually, we're going to continue tomorrow because tomorrow is just the general feedback, okay? So tomorrow is mostly practice, okay? It's mostly practice. Hello, ladies. Sé que no querían regresar todavía. <laughs> But listen, 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 people. Listen. Uh, is everybody here? Yeah, creo que todos están yes. acá. Okay, listen. I know we haven't finished. Ok, sé que algunos todavía no habían terminado completo. Ok, uh, in the case of Soy la LB, and I don't remember the other, I think you are Gilberto, right? With you, with you. 
a dónde se quedaron. No, stay? nosotros hicimos tres, digamos. Creo que terminamos ¿Cómo? eso. Sí, el sí. último. Sí, terminamos. En lo último, en el, el listado último, nada más eso. tenemos. En el listado nada más tenemos como cuatro nada más. I have to sleep where. I need to get to breakfast. I need to send my report. Ajá. Y el de donde dice. De los de los ¿Qué ¿Sí tenemos ¿Qué los tres. Ajá. No, ¿Ya los no tienen? Puedes... Sí, ya los tenemos. Eso sí ya están. Ah, perfecto, casi, casi. Entonces, entonces igual, mañana eh, vamos a leer esto. Entonces, like, como básicamente todos tenemos la... la, la ajá, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, in uh, the case of Karen, I think with her classmates, they finish, right? You finish, right, Karen? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Ok, ¿Quién, quién, ¿quién no terminó? Who didn't finish? We are finished with Fanny. Oh. Ok, cool. Edgar, ¿do you finish? No, no, no terminé. Okay. Es que me confundí, me confundí en hacerlas y me, cuando lo estaba volviendo a hacer, ya salimos. Ok, ok. Uh, who are you working with? ¿Con quién está usted? Con Xiomara. Ah, with Xiomara. Where is Xiomara? I am in she's, she's there. Okay, cool. Listen, by tomorrow we're going to continue with that part. Entonces, para mañana igual vamos a continuar con parte de ello, ok, para poder finalizar esta parte. Y mañana vamos igual a tener algunas conversaciones con relación a los temas que hemos estado viendo durante la semana, ok, because tomorrow is mostly practice too. Entonces, porque igual mañana es básicamente práctica también. Eh, con, eh, con los primeros temas que estuvimos viendo el lunes, right? This is pretty much what we're going to be doing tomorrow. And uh, listen, listen, uh, by tomorrow, also. Okay. Así escucha, uh, teacher. Okay, uh, listen, people. Can you turn off the microphone, please? La pago el gallo. Teacher. Podríamos, por favor, poner en mute los, los micrófonos por un momento, please? Please, please, please. Okay. They are emotional. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Exactly, right. Okay, listen, listen, listen. By tomorrow, by tomorrow, eh. We got the last, the last uh, video conference from, from the week, okay? So, básicamente, como les mencionaba al principio, mañana vamos a estar terminando eh, ya con la segunda semana, okay? Ya básicamente vamos a estar a mitad del, del módulo. Así que, igual, les solicito de manera muy atenta, tal y como lo hicieron de manera excelente la semana pasada, Quiero que me colaboren con lo de las tareas, ¿ok? Mañana hasta la tarea 10 y también estaría el examen para mañana, el midterm. Está bajito, ¿ok? Está bajito de la, de la sección 2, que es de la unidad 2, ah, del manual. Entonces, igual, ese también estaría para mañana. Entonces, ya, ya eh, ese está habilitado. Recuerden, si, si pueden eh, hacerlo, ya sea esta noche o mañana durante el día, no problem, ok, pero igual me gustaría que mañana, este, por lo menos a más tardar después de clase, ya estar con, con esas cinco tareas, me refiero de las seis a la diez, y con el midterm ya hecho para poder enviar esas notas al Insafor, ok, y ya pues quedarnos esperando nada más la siguiente semana para la, el inicio de la tercera semana del módulo, ok. That's pretty much what we're gonna have. And uh, I wait for you people by tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to have a practice. Mañana tenemos algunas conversaciones pendientes, las cuales las vamos a practicar y aplicando los temas que hemos estado viendo durante la semana, el uso de have to, has to, right? We got a lot of practice tomorrow, okay? That's what we are going to be focusing tomorrow on. And besides the homework that we haven't finished at all, y pues también la tarea que eh, algunos no han terminado y los demás pues que ya terminaron, pues la vamos a producir, ¿ok? Porque ya todos tenemos oraciones diferentes, así que todos vamos a participar, ¿ok? So, I'm going to press the attendance list and that's going to be like everything for tonight, ¿ok? Just give me one second. Teacher, solo una pregunta. 
Ajá, tell me. Yo, yo ya hice mis tres eh, oraciones ahorita, pero el, el fin a, a que tenemos que llegar, quisiera como me conecté de último, ya no, no escuché todas las indicaciones. Ah, he, okay. usado la, he usado las tres palabras, what I, where y when, pero no sé el fin a que para armar la oración más tranquilo mañana. Ok, so, en este caso es básicamente usando las estructuras como se ha estado viendo. La del have uh -huh. to y has to, que si es tercera persona, o need to. Ok, entonces en ese caso, eh, digamos, si vamos a usar when, si son oraciones afirmativas, recordemos que when es básicamente cuando mencionamos una situación, por así decirlo. Ok, por ejemplo, si usted dice, I have to... Listen, I have to work, okay? Listen up, I have to work when it's required. So, ese de when is required, ahí estamos hablando ya de una situación, okay? Entonces, uh, when, en este caso, lo vamos a poner cuando indique situaciones. Por ejemplo, I need to buy a TV when I have money. Ah, necesito comprar una televisión cuando tenga dinero. So, ahí ya estamos hablando de una situación. Ok. Ahora, usando what time, no necesariamente tenemos que escribir what time, sino más bien la hora en que una actividad se desarrolla. Example. ¿A qué hora llegas? Example. Uh, for example, I need to be in the class at eight. That's one example. Ok. I have to go to work at 7 a.m. All right. I need to speak English at 9 p.m., for example, right? So, en ese caso, mencionamos horas. Eh, usando where, no necesariamente vamos a usar where, pero es un ejemplo donde usted me indique un lugar, okay? For example, I have to go to San Salvador tomorrow, okay? I need to go to Guatemala on vacation, to, to call it like that, right? So, in that case, you're mentioning the place. Estamos mencionando un lugar, okay? en donde se desarrolla una actividad, ¿all right? Que indique obligación o necesidad. All right, estamos en el Okay, perfect. Okay. Perfect. All right, now I'm going to pass the attendance list. Just give me one second. Uh, Carlos Mauricio. Presente. Good nice. night. Good night, Mr. Cindy Melanie. Present, teacher. Okay, excellent. Elvi Quintanilla. Good night, teacher. Good night. All right, Stephanie Michel. Present. Very good. Gustavo Adolfo, his mother. Uh, uh, Ivani Yaminet. Present, teacher. Excellent. Uh, Jorge Alberto. Present, teacher. Okay, nice. Jose Antonio. Present. Perfect. Jose Edgar. Present. Okay. Very good. Let me see. Juan Emanuel. Present. Okay. Juan, ahora nos tocan los 10 minutos de retroalimentación, okay? Okay, no problem. I'm Perfect. waiting. Thank you, Mr. Uh, let me see. Juan Gilberto. Present, teacher. Okay, excellent. Julio Alberto. Present, teacher. Very nice. Julio César. Present. Ok, cool. Karen Beatriz. Present. Ok, excellent. Let's move. Luis Gerardo. Present. Nice. Verónica Arely. Present. Perfect. Wendy Jamilet. Wendy. Present. Ok, nice. Uh, William Ernesto. Present, teacher. Ok, perfect. Eh, Xiomara Elizabeth. Present. Ok, nice. Luis Jonathan. Ok, creo que él sí ya no volvió. Tuvo problemas de internet. Uh, Carlos José. Good night, teacher. Good night, mister. And the last one, soy la Guadalupe. Ok, perfect, everybody. Thank you for getting connected to the class. Uh, do the homework. Have a wonderful night and see you tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye. See you tomorrow, people. Have a wonderful night.
See you tomorrow. See you teacher. tomorrow Bye. night, teacher. Okay. Good night, everybody. Night. Good night. Let's see you, everybody. Tomorrow. Bye bye. All right, Juan. Uh, so this ten, okay. these 10 minutes are basically related to, you know, like clarify any questions that you might have related to this class and the previous classes that we have had, uh, you know, like related to the topics. So I don't know if you, if you have any question, if you have gathered any question related to this topic and the previous topic and the past week. Uh, no, uh, I, the class are very clear about the yeah. topic, they use the present perfect. So it's very clear because we can use in different kind of type when we're speaking. Yeah. So because, because the reason mm -hmm. I am here in this course, mm -hmm. so I, I need to reinforce uh -huh. in my vocabulary in, in level to be in, in another position in my work, for example. Okay, that's great, that's great. And how do you see the classes? So the classes are very interesting. So uh, I like it. Okay, cool. Let's remember if you have like, you know, like merge any question related to the class, related to like the topic that we're discussing at the moment. All right, don't hesitate and turn off the, you know, like the microphone and ask okay because it's like it's better for you that you're like you know learning that you are like basically uh having this as, as a feedback it's even better for you like to ask every time you have any questions right because in that way you are clarifying any doubt that you might have and that probably gives you problems at a, in a future right so that's why it's like better to clarify any question okay on the spot okay thank you all right so uh how about with the platform have you have any any inconvenient or everything is okay with the platform too uh no i don't have inc uh, any inconvenience with the platform no. it's okay uh, okay cool i'm glad to hear that all right so <laughs> that's great that's great okay if you have it, if you don't have it, like any question related to the classes right if, if everything is clear which is which i'm glad for that right uh so there's nothing to 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 do with you uh i i think you you know the basic already i have listened to you the way how you speak and everything and i know you can handle a, bit, a basic conversation like pretty good with no problem uh so keep going right keep practicing that that's the way how you are going to level up your you know like your position okay okay and uh, give me one advice how to improve my fluency listen the fluency like there's only one key to do it and it's through the practice listen you can learn a lot of vocabulary believe me you can learn as much vocabulary as you can but if you don't practice you will realize that you might understand people when they speak but when you want to say something you're like stopping right like you are like hesitating to say something in that case the practice is going to make you improve the practice is going to avoid you of thinking in spanish first right the practice is going to give you the fluency that you need, right? The fast way, you know, like to, to, to gain that is just that, like through the practice. Another one is just by listening to music, especially the ones in English, right? But not the type of music like, like rap music or all those things. No, Faster. I'm talking about like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm talking about those type of music that are like kind of classical, like, 90s 80s music 
those ones are really cool because the pronunciation from those people were really, 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 really clear. I'm talking about what? Aerosmith, Guns N' Roses, uh, Elton John, Bon Jovi, those type of music. What it makes you is like to increase, you know, like your listening skills, right? As well as knowing the correct pronunciation of the word. So in that way, you can like enhance your pronunciation and your speaking level. Right? So this is the key. If you have someone to speak English, get advantage of that and let's practice as much as you can. And you will see that in the future, you will be like with a great fluency at the moment of speaking. Perfect. I will try to, to do it. Okay, cool. In the class, let's try to do it as much as you can too, okay? Perfect. All right, cool one. So it was a pleasure to be here with you in this moment then. Uh, see you tomorrow, okay? Okay, mister. Oh, see you tomorrow. Right. Have a nice day. Have a nice night, okay? Bye-bye.